see where this rejection of his father led him. In verses 14 through 16, Jesus describes the consequences of this younger son's rebellion against his dad. And he gives us three important points. First, this son spent everything. He spent everything he had. He got his inheritance, he got his estate, he gathered all his stuff together and he went out and in just a few words, he spent it all. The money that he loved so much ran out so quick. It was a finite resource. It's gone now. Do you know that there is a pleasure in sin? There is a kind of pleasure that comes from sin. But how quick is that pleasure gone? How empty is that pleasure in reality? So quickly, all this prodigal living is over. And all his dreams have vanished. Then Jesus says a famine arose. How unpredictable is this world? This son goes out to live it up and have a good time. And he's partying. And he's gambling. And he's drinking. And he's living his life. And then the next thing you know, he's starving. He's feasting one day. And then he's starving the next. What a, what a refreshing message to remember this morning, the unchangeableness of God. This world changes so much. This boy never guessed that he'd be in a famine. And it just so happens the famine hits when he runs out of money. How unpredictable. He couldn't plan for this. And then Jesus says that this boy's in want. He's longing. He's staying up all night. He's living his life. He's doing his thing. But now that there's a famine, now that there's difficulty, he's got nothing to show for it. There's nothing in his hands now. All those pleasures that he was out there chasing, all those things that he was trying to fulfill, all those desires in his heart were like grabbing sand and trying to hold on to and it just slipped through his fingertips. He's got absolutely nothing to show for his prodigal lifestyle. Do you know that's the way that sin always plays out in our lives? Do you know that? That's always the sinful transaction. It always goes that way. You turn away from something good that God has given you. You reach for something that God has told you not to. And you find out that sin is never what it seemed to be. Sin promises you everything. That's what Satan promised Adam and Eve. You'll be like God. He made such a grand promise to them for what this sin would do for them. But in reality, sin delivers nothing. It promises everything. And it delivers nothing. Paul says in Romans 6.21, as he's reflecting on our godless pasts. And we all have one of those. Our godless pasts. He says, what fruit did you have then in the things of which you are now ashamed? Look back on your life before you knew Christ. What fruit did you have? What can you show for it? Is there anything good, anything true, anything lasting? He says the end of those things is death. This younger son is a picture of life apart from God. Let me just say that again. This younger son is the picture of life separated from God. He's an illustration of what it means to be in the flesh, not submitted to God. No faith, no obedience, no holiness, no hope. Rebellion against God is the story of riches to rags. That's where this boy went. He had a great dad and a great home and a great situation. He was up here and he chose the way of sin, chose the way of rebellion. So his story is one from riches to rags.